Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of its podcast, most generic gaming podcast in the world. As usual, I have three lovely people joining me. I've got Jar and Dev from Jar Dev once again. Hello boys. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jar. I am not Dev. I am Robbie, god damn it. Come on man, roll with the with the uh, okay, the jokes come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us this week is Fitzcred as well. How's it going, Fitzcred? I'm going pretty good. What about you guys? Yeah, well, um, I just realized actually after 12 episodes of this, I've never introduced myself. Oh my god, <laughs> have you not? <laughs> yeah, 12, 12 weeks in a row, I don't think I've introduced myself. <laughs> Holy shit. So, hello everyone, wow. nice to meet you. My name is Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> hello. And, um, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I just want to hijack this podcast and talk to you guys about the vanishing of Ethan Carter. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have heard of this. Nope. Uh, well, you actually show me uh, what the game was about, but never heard of before. See, this is this is this is a problem right here because this is the game of the year, and no one's fucking heard of this game. It's no, kind well, of, it's it's people are hearing of it now. Radar. Yeah, it's slowly getting really good reviews and stuff, and everyone's raving about it. But um, I just finished playing it last week, and I gotta say, it is probably my game of the year so far hmm. huh. I haven't played Shadow of Mordor or any uh, uh, Shadow of Mordor is it's pretty good, I've got issues with it I'll talk about that later <laughs> so if no one's heard of Vanishing of Ethan Carter I'll probably push that back because I want to talk about it quite in depth <laughs> I want to bore you guys with how good it is but um, maybe we'll get our guests to start us off and we'll talk about what kind of games we've been playing and then move into any gaming news if we have any oh shit i didn't get gaming news <laughs> well that's okay <laughs> we'll make gaming news we'll, yeah, we'll, make, <laughs> we'll make gaming news but um yeah so what you been what you been up to fitzgred in this two weeks of your gaming life gaming life <laughs> well i've been playing path of exile and that's mostly it <laughs> i didn't play much except for my channel like uh, I've played Trials Evolution and stuff Woo, like that. Woo Trials! But... Yeah, it's really freaking awesome. I love but Trials. It's, uh, it's the Evolution one, not the Fusion. I don't know if you have played the Fusion one. I no, I have I Fusion. Evolution, I think. Oh, I haven't nice. played it yet. I I have Evolution. I've played Evolution. Well, that will be something to play then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've played uh, Dead Rising two with a friend, uh, and I've played um, what's the other game? Uh, Dark Souls. Like, oh yeah, no. Dark Souls two, but Dark Souls one, and so you're avoiding all these new releases and digging into, <laughs> digging into some classics. Yeah, because classics are good. The <laughs> two is awesome, man. Yeah. How's the co-op though? Is the co-op good? Uh, well, it's only, but well, I I don't think you can have more than two players, so it's only limited to two players. But uh, like the co-op and everything is pretty much good. But the thing is, you actually looks like you 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 got two main characters which are the same. Like I don't remember what. Oh, okay. Nick, is that it? Nick? I don't remember. The guy with the daughter, <laughs> right? Uh, pff, I couldn't tell. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you got like twins, and you do the missions like you will be on single player. But yeah, you got twins, which is bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But otherwise, it's pretty it's pretty amazing. In co op, I can imagine uh, getting a co op partner in a wheelchair and like pushing him down. You know, you got the wheelchair with the the blades on the side. I forget what it is. <coughs> really? I never went there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a wheelchair with like things like blades on the side. I think. Am I fucking tripping or something? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Do you guys play Dead Rising at all? It's kind of a console game, isn't it? Yeah, <coughs> I'm dying. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I got it for free on PS3 like a while ago, but mm. I don't think I ever actually played it. <laughs> what? Yeah, Did it's you like for at least played Dead Rising one. No. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> well, you should play Dead Rising two, like ASAP. But, but Dead Rising three's out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a but... lot different though. Dead Rising three, from what I can tell. You know, classics are good. 
No, man, I'm, I'm all about the future. I need, like, my new games. I don't go back. <laughs> I never games. played it either, but before we started up YouTube, I had never really played any sort of zombie game ever, so... Ooh. Yeah, I don't Damn. think you played anything. <laughs> nope, nothing. There was so, nothing that I played. No Resident Evil? No other zombie games like that at all? Nope. I didn't even play, like, uh, Nazi zombies in Call of Duty. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was too much for you. Have you heard didn't... of zombie? Have I heard of a zombie? What's that? What? Before playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby I knew just what always. They were in that... I just didn't want to play. That's that's why you didn't want to play zombies. games because you knew what they were. I just like I felt like it was done so much. Like even everyone back then, did something with zombies. It is. Speaking of zombies, I just finished the. I finally finished the Walking Dead season two. Oops. Oh yeah, isn't uh, it on like season four now? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a. Uh, no, not a TV show. Oh, the game. Oh. The game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got bored of the TV show, man. Once they're in their fucking house, I was like, "Whoa, spoilers!" <laughs> yeah, they're in the house for the entire Fuck. season. No, 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 no. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. Nothing happens that's a spoiler. Spoilers! God Stop damn it, it, Jimmy. Now I will never watch The Walking Dead thanks to you. Yeah, good. It sucks. That's, that's what I've heard from <laughs> and some that people. Kid, man, that, that kid is a fucking little bitch. Carl? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carl, the zombies are coming, Carl. Give me my gun, Dad. <laughs> no, you can't have your gun, Carl. You're irresponsible. Carl has a gun? Oh, whoops. Spider. <laughs> hell. <laughs> Let's stop talking about this TV show. The sooner you get a gun, you get kids trained with guns in the zombie apocalypse, the better. I mean, in Walking Dead, the game, he trained little uh, Clementine to use a gun. Oh, spoilers. Like, what, eight. Spoilers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look over the spoilers. What if I haven't so any, played it? Any of you playing the Walking Dead game? Or you're no. To? No. Do I have it? Well, I see. have it. Are you guys into it at all? No. I have no. the Walking Dead, like the first Walking Dead game, but I've never played it. Oh, damn. The first? Well, well, I've probably got like 30 zombie apocalypse games, and I just don't play any of them. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't record myself playing it, because... I was in tears. Oh was yeah, I saw your saw your tweet about it. Yeah, I was oh, really? a mess. But the the Walking Dead game is kind of it's kind of a bit shit for the second season because you play as a little <laughs> girl, right? You play as Clementine, so every time there's a decision that risks her life, you're like, well, she's not gonna die, so I might as well try and save this person. Yeah, because she's a little so, girl, they're not gonna kill a little girl. Yeah, in your head you're like, well, she's definitely not going to die, so this guy is going to die. Do you want to save him or not? You're like, well, I might as well try to save him because I'm not going to die. So kind of, a lot of your decisions are like made for you already. Huh. But it's not like that in the first one? In the first one, it's kind of like there's more, there's more of an element of risk in your decisions. Okay. And, yeah. I mean, they've got a lot of criticism criticism for, like, having the illusion of choice, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> illusion. But there's some there's some decisions you have to make that are like, fuck. <laughs> Not cool. I will take your word for it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say, Jimmy. You guys should play it, man, if you like drama and... But what about spoilers? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't spoiled anything for you. But I know there's a little girl. He plays Clementine. That's it. So only two things have got me to cry this year. It's Game of Thrones and Walking Dead. Game of Thrones? Yeah, man. I cried for no reason in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> L- literally for no reason other than... <laughs> This is so fucking good. I started crying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? And I was like, no, stop crying. This is stupid. And I was like, fuck it, cry. Just let it go. Were you with other people? No. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. 
It just people look over at you. You're just having an internal struggle about whether or not to cry. Don't tell me you guys not watching the the Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, well. we, I watched Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, nowadays, it's like there's something wrong with you if you don't watch it. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, do you even like have a life? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you a human being? <laughs> You're so uncool right now. I don't think I know anybody who hasn't watched Game of Thrones who's over the age of 18. I do. <laughs> I do, yeah. You're all fucking idiots. <laughs> My coworker like really loves like high epic fantasy and stuff, but he just couldn't watch Game of Thrones for some reason, so he's he just hasn't watched it. Huh, what? That's weird. Yeah. It's really disappointing. Hmm. So Fitzgerald, you're looking to play Dead Rising 3 or... Uh, well, it went out on, the, on on PC, so yeah, maybe I, if PC. I have the money, I could buy it and play with someone. But as for now, I don't have any money. I'm pretty poor, so <laughs> 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 I'm not going to buy any games yeah. for, like, months. But Sorry. if I can do it, I will do it. I'm looking at screenshots. It's like he's in a Mega Man costume or some shit what? what's going, what's going I thought on it was a, a giant lego costume yeah there's that as well <laughs> he's like wearing like a giant lego head on his head and he's wielding some sort of flaming katana of death and it looks really cool <laughs> yeah that's dead rising <laughs> huh <laughs> because when you when you go back to the first dead rising it was actually um kind of more realistic you were using um, you know things that you can find you know, that you can find in a mall and use it to kill zombies but now it went like to a next level it's like you can combine weapons and you can add some elements on them what? to make burn people or electro electro shock people or stuff like that it, it went up pretty fast in term in term of um of randomness if i can say but it's pretty damn amazing it's like if you are if you're having a bad mood like a, a, a shitty day and you just want to you know hit people in the face well you just go <laughs> play dead rising tree and all your frustration is going to to go away it's, it's just perfect <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like it's the purpose of this game it's like kill zombies D. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say before we proceed, I fucking love your accent. <laughs> <laughs> you got this Thanks. whole like French Canadian thing going on. It's excellent. Well, I'm trying my best to to have a proper accent, but <laughs> I think it's it's coming back at me. It's like a backfire thing. <laughs> God, so many Canadians on this week. It's three of you. I know, right? Are you yeah, are you in Montreal, over. Fitz? I'm sorry. Are you in Montreal? No, actually, I'm like 600 kilometers away from Montreal. Oh, okay. Oh la la. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. C'est cool, ça. <laughs> so if I if I if I need to go to Montreal, like I did for Comic Con, yeah, it takes about six hours. Holy straight, crap! And oh. 12 hours in a round trip, so it takes a while. Wow, <laughs> that's a long drive. Yeah. How, how, where, where are you and Robbie? On the where? other side of Canada. <laughs> yeah, we're in Alberta. Alberta. On the west coast. Well, not like coast, but west side to the west coast. Sweet man. <coughs> oh, hold on, Alberta. You guys from Calgary, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's where my sorry, my favorite movie took place in Calgary. Was it way downtown? Cool Runnings, man. Oh, fuck yeah, Cool Runnings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about that in The Long Dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only movie I heard that was getting like done in Calgary was like Man of Steel, that like new-ish Superman movie or whatever, and I almost oh. got cast as an extra in it. Oh, yeah. What? I, I was at school, and like I was walking with some friends, and this person stopped <laughs> us, and they were like, hey, do you guys want to be extras in the new Superman movie? And I was like... Maybe. So they gave me their number, but I never went through with it because I was like, I haven't heard anything about a new Superman movie. 
<laughs> How do I know that to this actually good at, yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe, I don't know. So I, I didn't go for it. And then there was a new Superman movie and I'm like, crap, I could have been famous and on TV everywhere. <laughs> it's my mom's advice. Never take candy from stranger. Never sign up to be an extra on random movie sets. <laughs> Some good advice. <laughs> That would be cool, though. We, we could have seen Robbie, like, in the movie, just waving the camera just <laughs> back then. <laughs> Hi, Mom! <laughs> I, don't yeah, seeing, I don't remember seeing any Calgary in Man of Steel, though. I haven't seen Man of Steel, because I was, was like, I'm not in it. It's well, not worth watching. It was really they, shit. They probably just choose the cheapest place to film and then <laughs> pretend it's somewhere else. Probably. They do. Yeah, that's what, like, they use Vancouver for, like, New York and, like, Chicago all the time. <laughs> Mm. But I like think... uh, Cool Runnings, man. Shit. Cool Runnings. It's the best movie ever made. <laughs> well, I've never even heard of that movie. What? what? The fuck. It's. Uh, that's even worse than not watching Game of Thrones. I think it might be, actually. <laughs> no way. Get out yes. of here. Cool Runnings. No. Cool Runnings, first, man. the first Jamaican bobsleigh team. Darius Sanka. <laughs> Some Others. people say they don't believe. <laughs> When did it come out? 1991. Oh, really? <laughs> I wasn't I thought... even born until 93, so, you know. So? When was Co when did Coronis come out? I feel like it was the 80s. Should, oh, no, it was set this. in the 80s. I should know this. 1993, sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two huh. years off. Well, come... how have you heard of it, John? Um... It's the greatest movie ever made. It is a, a great 6. movie. 9 rating. <laughs> really? <IMDb. laughs> oh. I'm going to go rate that 10 stars. <laughs> uh, I, th I think my mom like saw it when she was in England. And then when we were here, she was like, I think I was like sick one day. She was like, oh, put on Cool Runnings, dear. And uh, <laughs> I watched Cool Runnings. I was like, holy fuck, this is a great it's movie. It's got uh, John Candy, who is one of Canada's greatest and funniest character actors. Who the fuck's John Candy? <laughs> John Candy. Is oh. Uh, if you say so. You heard of this Fitzcred? Cool Runnings? Am I going to receive some rocks if I say no? Yes, <laughs> yes. Just, just say yes to avoid it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, half of us here haven't heard of it. Yeah, it's 50-50. At well, least people have heard of Game of Thrones, okay? Well, Hans Zimmer did the score for Cool Runnings. <laughs> oh my god. You know what else he did the uh, score for? Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's a good score. So there you go. He does everything, Hans Zimmer. He literally does everything. He does. You know what And I thought was a good movie when I was a kid? Cool Runnings? No, The Adventures of Pluto Nash. <laughs> See, I've never heard of that. Damn, it's it's got Eddie Murphy in it, but IMDb has a a rating for it of three point seven. Oh it's my a god! Score of twelve oh out of a hundred. <laughs> What? Holy shit! I don't shit. remember anything about the movie, but I remember when I was a kid, I liked it. But well, I had apparently a, it was a terrible movie. I used to watch Cool Runnings almost every day. Oh my remember. god! I had it on wow. a VHS tape. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> So wow! I almost know every line, and I can't watch it with other people because I like say all the lines out loud. <laughs> That's, really annoys them. That's like me with the first Harry Potter movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this girl got really pissed and uh, couldn't like left the room. She couldn't watch it. Really? Was, like, saying every line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just rated it 10 that? stars. Yes, sir. <laughs> 10 stars for you. Anyway, <laughs> back to video games. Yeah, man, we've just been talking about a movie for a <laughs> oh, while. Yeah. Do you know what's as good as Cool Runnings? The Vanishing of Ethan, Ethan Carter. Carter. Yeah. Which is a first-person <laughs> story-driven mystery game focused on exploration and discovery. Goodness me, that sounds like quite the game, Jimmy. It is. You're an, you're an occult-minded private detective, Paul Prospero, and you can communicate with the dead to discover the fate of a missing boy. Goodness. Damn. <laughs> Now, seriously, this game 
is fucking amazing. It's kind of like it's going to be the one of those game that you when you compare it to like the Oscars, right? It's not going to win any Oscars. But yeah. It's going to be like one of the best films of the year, that kind of shit. Yeah, I get you. Like, like Shadow cool Order is going to get all the awards and Alien Isolation is going to get all the best whatever fucking so shit. So it's going to be like Leonardo DiCaprio? It, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what I was about to say. <laughs> oh my god. You fucking nailed it. <coughs> this game is Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no. And they're both to beautiful. The gameplay to you. It's kind of like you're just going around solving puzzles and piecing together the story. But... The best thing about the game is like the one thing I love is that it doesn't hold your hand at all. So it's kind of like it drops you in this environment and you it's just like go, go explore. So you can literally get lost in this game and kind of you know there's little markers here and there to keep you on the right track, but you can literally just get lost and some of the puzzles are just kind of like solve this shit. And, that yeah. that just sounds difficult and confusing if you can get lost. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Some people would think it's it would get that way, but it does a really good job of still being, uh, still being easy enough for you to solve yourself. Okay, how long was it? Oh man, not very long. I think. Let me go to my Steam. Uh, I think okay. it's not more than four hours. Okay, because I saw you what? beat it in like eight videos. Yeah, eight videos of like 20 minutes. So I yeah. played for five hours, but that's including stuff I cut out and stuff. Okay. And how much did you pay that? How much did I pay? Yeah. Oh, it went for 20 bucks. I tried to get a key so bad, and they weren't giving out keys. And I was just yeah. like, fuck it. I need this game. <laughs> I think <laughs> I sent like, them like two emails trying to get it. I don't regret a single cent. Normally really? I would be like twenty bucks for five hours. Fuck that! But it was yeah, so that, good. Will, that will be my time. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> twenty twenty hours, and you only got I mean twenty dollars, and you only got four hours of gameplay. I'd rather Man. spend twenty bucks for five good hours of gameplay than five bucks for twenty hours of shit gameplay. Yeah, like I yeah. think I I think I bought like Gone Home when it first came out, and that was like twenty bucks. Oh, damn, to... that was 20 bucks. I think so. I'm trying to find it now. I can't freaking see it. <laughs> ah. balls. I don't think that was like even four hours of gameplay. I think it was like two. But if you guys have never seen What's... anything on this game, go and check it out. If not if not my series, go watch some trailers or something. If the... only it was multiplayer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <Cards are? laughs> that is... Honestly, that's the biggest qualm I have with so many games. I just want them to be like co op. Oh, this game wouldn't work in co op. The whole atmosphere is of you being alone in this war in this place. You're like I wouldn't play a it solitary then. dude. <laughs> and you Not know, my I'm, kind of thing. I am terrible with scary shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I cannot yeah, play scary stuff. And I literally had to force myself to play the scary portion of this game. Because there's there's a lot of supernatural stuff going on. And, like, the entire game, you're, like, on your own and stuff. And then this thing happens right in the middle of the game where it's just, like, fuck. <laughs> it's so bone-chilling. Oh. And I was just... I put it down and I stopped the episode. And I was just like, fuck, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. But I forced myself to do it. I was kind of hoping it would, like, just be a detective game and no scary stuff. <laughs> Yeah, if there was no scary stuff, I might actually play it. There's but... one jump scare. Oh, fuck. Um, fuck. There's only one. <laughs> See, telling someone that, it's either a good thing or a bad thing, because you're like, if I told you there's no jump scares, you'd have the time in your life. Yeah, but until the a jump scare happens. there's happened. only one, you'll be waiting for it the entire time. The entire time, yeah. I just, I just don't see why it's necessary to put a jump scare into... Like a game that's not specifically a horror game. It's it's the first jump scare that um, I'm okay with. I'm I was okay with that jump scare. Yeah. Like I don't know if you guys are gonna play it or can I just tell you about it? No, no, I'm I'm, I'm definitely gonna out. play it. Okay, good. Are you gonna record it, John? No. Then I won't spoil it for you. But the way they create it is really unique. The whole atmosphere of the game is really unique. And it's it, got the best graphics of any game. It looks amazing. Yeah, the graphics are really good. Looks mm -hmm. so good. 
it's literally the best graphics I've ever seen. And it's not just like the scenery. You go up, you go up close to a candle, and like the lighting is reflecting off little crevices in the candle. Oh my god! And you can like see the wax and stuff. It's crazy. What? It's absolutely crazy. Huh? For such a like new team developing it. Yeah, was it their first game? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. They use a kind of what is this like photorealistic graphical style so they take pictures of everything and then put it in the game so everything is real oh really huh. oh my yeah, god cool. so you see like a statue in the graveyard that's an actual statue somewhere yeah. somewhere <laughs> probably in calgary or vancouver or something <laughs> somewhere where it's cheap to go and yeah pictures. <laughs> but it's so good and the puzzles are really re- rewarding yeah yeah it literally doesn't hold your hand at all. It's just kind of like it makes you feel like a detective almost. <laughs> yeah, like I watched the stupid, but... I watched the first five minutes of like some gameplay, and it just like throws you just into like the wilderness, and you kind of have to do things. Yeah, and you like step on traps and almost die. Yeah, the traps part ties into the end of the game. Oh really? So... Ooh, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be that's gonna be your game of the year so far, eh? Um, I think so. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm trying to think of other games that I really enjoyed, apart from the forest. <coughs> apart from what? Sorry. The forest. Oh yeah. That spooky game, which is in the forest. <laughs> yeah, fuck, it's... man. I hate spooky <laughs> games, but it seems like all the games I've enjoyed so far the forest spooky. is not spooky fuck you man the, fuck you man <laughs> people like come after you in the night and shit that's scary go it's... into that cave please i like normally i'm not very good with scary shit, games but the forest pants. does not bother me in the slightest some of us aren't as brave as you john <laughs> i'm not that brave though well even still some of us aren't as brave as you i just don't think the forest is a scary game I think it looks pretty creepy. It's it's creepy. It looks creepy. It's not. <laughs> and I really enjoyed Darkwood as well. So all these all these creepy ass games. That Darkwood's pretty creepy. Fuck, I still haven't gone back to that. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It did look very great. But yeah, that was some creepy shit too. What's the creepiest game you guys have ever played? Oh jeez. Um. Oh god. Uh, shoot. Uh, Amnesia would definitely be up there. Never played it. Too scared. Oh my god, yeah. It's <laughs> terrifying. And I it's will like... say... <sighs> Go ahead. Me? Uh, probably Silent Hill. The first when one? I was, when I was a little boy. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. I will say, uh, as for me, Outlast. Outlast. Oh god. Also never played it. Too scared. <laughs> that game is pure fucking just pure scary. I can't do it. Game Society yeah, because... Pimps have just started a series on it, so yeah, so that's how I'm gonna it. watch it. Yeah. The thing in Outlast you... is that you don't have any weapons. You you exactly. can do shit if you get chased. Did you that's... finish that game? Yeah, I did. I didn't play the DLC yet, but I did play the first one, which is Outlast bottom line outlast and the amounts of jump scare that i had in this yeah, game is almost it, over nine thousand. oh god <laughs> <laughs> like oh, you open man. a door you, you there's something that just pop up in your face and you're like ah! then you just <laughs> walk like two meters and there is like a guy that comes out from nowhere ah! <laughs> just <laughs> non-stop okay scream that. Oh god. It's insane. I I still kind of want to get it though. <laughs> what well, you you should play it. I mean the beginning is not <laughs> that scary, but at one point like the first jump the, the jump the, no, sorry. The first jump scare that you get in Outlast is maybe one of the biggest of all the game. Oh okay. The first one. <laughs> what the body hanging down? Um uh, what 
I- I'm not going to tell any spoilers here. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike you, Jimmy. <laughs> but it's in but... the beginning. Da da da. <sighs> okay, I, th- I think it's the body, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't do Outlast, man. Can't uh, you gotta it. play it. You gotta play it. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> the only I... way I would play it if someone sponsored me to play it. And that's not gonna happen. So far. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? <laughs> or is it? Place your, your sponsorships now for Jimmy to play out last. Yay. Yeah. Just in time for Halloween. Let's go Twitter this shit. Like, Holy hashtag shit, yeah, Jimmy coming. Outlast. <laughs> Jimmy John, plays what's Outlast. What's the scariest game you've played? Um, I think it might have to be Amnesia. Yeah. So you guys both played Amnesia? But well, Robbie played know. Amnesia. I, I, I've watched, I watched someone play Amnesia for like half an hour. And I was terrified. <laughs> and then John had the brilliant idea of last Halloween having us play Amnesia. And that was awful. It like See that's ugh. you guys playing it together though. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's and why it's I'm still bad. Um yeah. kind of. You big girls. <laughs> big girlies. How you know, dare I, you? I'm thinking about it, I don't know if Amnesia is one of the scariest games I've played because Last year as well, we went to a friend's house and we watched him play Silent Hill. Oh, John, which one was it? Shit. Um, um, something, something about, about water. Rain. Yeah. Something about rain. I don't know. Mm. Rain. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. like in this like little town and there's just fog all over the place and it's just I, I can't remember what it's called. It was on PS3. On PS3, that shall be Silent Hill Five Homecoming then. No, it wasn't. It, it no. wasn't. It didn't have a number. It, I think it was like a spin-off or something. <laughs> then I don't know. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, downpour. Silent Hill downpour. Down. That's what it was. Silent Hill downpour. Downpour from your oh. trousers. Oh, it it, it <laughs> was not. Much. It wasn't very scary. I thought it was pretty scary sometimes. It was a lot of but fun, though. Silent, Silent Hill is very freaky. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a, there's a big difference in my taste for these kind of games. I love freaky. I hate scary. <laughs> huh. Like, How I do you like differentiate, though? Shit. I like weird shit. I don't like games like Outlast, which are trying to scare you. I like creepy shit. Outlast like looks Dark so Man. good, though. <laughs> Yeah. So it's... basically, you would like to be chased by a kind of fucked up puppet. No. But as long as <laughs> I <don't> have... <laughs> no, I don't want to be chased by anything. I want to like explore a creepy place. Oh my oh. god, Outlast looks terrifying. I know. It is. Oh my god. Have you guys seen uh, or heard of Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like Jump Scare Central, right? Uh... Yeah. Kind well, of. Well, not really. One trailer, one trailer looks like it is because you're like looking at the map and then you put the map down and it's one of those stuffed things like lunging at your face. Yeah, that would only happen if you played the game really badly. Oh. You can like uh, predict when it's going to happen. So you just have to try and really avoid boring. it. There's a lot of waiting around, nothing. There is, but it's like very strategic waiting around. Yeah. Hmm. It looks pretty and meanwhile, cool. Meanwhile, you're, you're just freaking out. Because you have to look everything, and you have to manage the power, the power generator and stuff. I mean, I I could not play this at all. Because you're too scared, or because it's too hard. Uh, I think it will be more like the kind of trail, like you have to watch yourself and watch every everywhere in the place, and you just don't know where 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 they will come from and you know there is some lights that you can activate near the doors and sometimes you can see them just there just watching you yeah so you're like <laughs> fucking close the door <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like that God. <laughs> i think it looks pretty cool and it's only like five bucks <sighs> i'm hoping they just do a halloween steam sale and they like put that and outlast on sale oh. They did. Uh, they released it on mobile as well. Five Nights at Freddy. Really? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! <Whoa>. Apparently. <laughs> Wonder how much that is. <laughs> uh, uh, two bucks fifty, I think, or something. Oh really? Wow. 
Hmm. Don't know how good it is on mobile, but yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't do scary. I can't do. I don't want to talk about it now because it's like one a.m. for me. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I can't Coming do like you. I can't do paranormal stuff. Yeah. Because uh, I know a lot of people that have had paranormal encounters. Oh yeah. Like I live in Asia, man. There's a lot of shit that goes down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot yeah. of shit including Jimmy, have you ever... a girl I used to see oh, no I was just gonna s- tell you about this the, a girl <coughs> I used to see her house was like haunted by this baby ghost they call it a toyol oh what? my god Whoa. and uh, at the time I'm just kind of like oh fuck it I, I, don't, I don't believe in this shit but she would wake up with like little bruises on her arm and stuff which is weird and um, it wasn't until years later, like, she moved away and I was, I met her dad for dinner and I was talking to her dad about it and, it, and I and it brought it up and he was like, yeah, uh, when we moved in, there's all these Chinese altars about and we didn't know what to do with them. So we threw them out and that might have like disturbed something. Oh, dear. And he was like, the last day before he moved out, he was sleeping in his room. Everything was moved out. The house is empty. And uh, the whole night, there was like banging and someone screaming in the outside his door, like all night. And it's just what like, the fuck. Hell? But there's all these people I know that kind of are so skeptical about it, like me. Like I'm just like, nah, this is all rubbish, right? And then one day they just come to me and they're like, yeah, I saw something, man. It's like there's no way I can not believe them. Huh. And the entire, like the whole time I was in the army as well, right? I was in the army for like uh, five, six months. And there's like entire buildings, like barracks closed off because they're said to have a third door. What? There's been, there's been too too many like encounters. So they closed off the entire building. Wow. Huh. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, man. Right? So superstition is kind of a big thing there then? Yeah. But the, I had to do patrols when I was in the army. Like you do patrols around the the camp, right? And, like, the previous patrol came back and they were, like, all fucked up. And they were, like, yeah, we saw this little boy near the the barricades over there. And we were just, like, holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. So, fuck that, man. That's a creepy. Lot of paranormal stuff. <laughs> so, that's why you won't play paranormal shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because it'll come to life. I don't, don't want to fuck with that with them <laughs> I was gonna ask if you guys have played Dead Space yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> I had amazing. one of my scariest ever experiences with Dead Space <laughs> <laughs> was it the eyeball thing no okay. I didn't I haven't played it like John and I played it a little bit last year for like a Halloween little video but uh, i my cousin got Dead Space 2 and he came over to play it with me or uh, play it and I'll sit there and watch him while I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> um, and so he he's playing it and there's this one point, I think, I'm pretty sure it's Dead Space 2, where all those, what are they called? Necro... Necromorphs? Uh, necromorphs. Necromorphs. Yeah, they like just start swarming at you out of all sorts of like vents and hallways and crap. And so he was like backed against a wall and killing them. And then like the music stopped. Like all the, the music stopped and we killed everything. We were like, oh, thank fuck. We lived. It's all fine. And <laughs> so he starts to walk forward. And then a light flickers on behind us. Like you can see on the floor, the light flickers on. And you just see the shadow of one of those necromorphs behind you <laughs> and we turned around and it's just got it's like two like razor arms and it's like about to just murder us dead and i just remember we both screamed like little girls <laughs> man isn't there isn't there an enemy in dead space that's like little kids that charge at you the, uh, i can't fucking uh, handle that yeah you go, in, you go into a nursery area right and it's like, yeah it's in like, dead space like one there is some kind of babies with like three tentacles in their back yeah, just my goodness. things or stuff yeah and, and they like charge at you right they yeah. don't charge they, they stay f- like quite away from you but when you get too close they jump in your face and they cut your head pretty much <laughs> <laughs> holy shit nice did any of you watch or play PT 
No, actually, oh. we got we got a couple of requests to play PT, so we might still do that. Oh, What's that? I something about that made me watch it. I don't know what it was. Really? But it was it was very compelling to watch. How long is, is that PT? Yeah, PT is like the it's like a little interactive demo made for the next uh, Silent, Silent Hill game, Hill. right? Yeah. So it's full of like creepy shit and stuff. It's very very scary. Yeah, it's mostly like I, I think it's like you are in a kind of apartment and you just go around or in the kind of house. Is that it? Yeah, and there's a little lady. Uh, moaning yeah. and stuff oh, oh god fuck that you, we're not doing in that the, <laughs> in the sink there's like a little fetus child thing nope <laughs> what the hell it's if you're gonna play anything scary play that because that is pretty damn scary probably we have so many other scary things to play yeah. or not play <laughs> no we have things it's, it's a really weird part of our brain that pushes us towards scary things i don't it is weird isn't it it. like usually our brain should be wired to avoid things that make us like really uncomfortable yeah but i think think, uh, my brain is wired that way yeah Yeah, Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. i think the fact that it's virtual just kind of lets people go wild with it like i still can't understand why anyone gets pleasure out of playing these games See, I'd okay. much rather just, like, watch a horror movie than play a horror game. Because <laughs> the horror game, you actually have to, like, force yourself to move forwards and stuff. But a horror movie, you just sit there. Well, I personally <laughs> like more to play the game than watching a movie. <laughs> That's for sure. Hello? Did we lose him? <laughs> I thought because that was me. Of course, you have to oh. go through with the Whoa. game. You but cut I mean, out for a little while there. Yeah. You cut out of Skype for a while there. I think we missed what you said. Really? Sorry. Yeah. Maybe my connection just went crazy for a second. <laughs> um, like for the game, you have to play it, but you are ready to. to know, you know what's going what's going to happen. You know that there is going to be jump scares. You know that there is something that's just going to pop in your face. You know that it's going to be creepy. But in a movie, it's like you watch the movie. And you're pretty much calm on your couch, mm. and you simply yeah. watch a movie, and you know st- stuff are going to happen, but you never know when, and you never know when it's gonna be creepy. And it's, you, there's like an unknown um, moment. I mean, yeah. unknown moments in in films or in movies that you don't know what's gonna happen, and that's where you actually begin to freak out and there are you going to be scared or you know because everybody has watched uh the ring right is that it the ring nope yeah no i, I haven't seen it no, i, I watched the japanese <laughs> version yeah the ringu which is uh yeah amazing ringu is but, really good Studing. yeah <laughs> like you know uh, in the first <coughs> part of the movie i don't want to spoil anything but there is a big jump scare where you see a lady she like crawls out of the tv or some shit right no, really, at the beginning. Oh. You know, well, I don't know if you have saw it, but there is like two girls which are going uh, making babysitting, I think, or they're just in the house, and she hears she hear her sister scream or something like that. So she go she goes up there and open the door, and you see like a kind of really really creepy face, and you never expect that as a watcher. To, like the first time that she was this, that you had to watch this movie, you never expect that to happen. Mm-hmm. And if it will happen in a game, I I will be scared, yes, but I will expect it. Hmm. Hmm. It's, it's been a, years since I've seen that movie. It's, yeah, it's a hard argument to make whether it's, whether right. you're gonna expect something or not. I, I actually find movies of... far more predictable than games nowadays. Like, a really? lot of scary movies, I'll be like, there's going to be a jump scare now, and then, like, Robbie will, like, be next to me, he'll freak out, I'll be like, yep, yeah, there it was. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just like, oh god, things are getting creepy, I'm just gonna, like, 
Man. look with one eye and just like pretend <laughs> I, mean, I have like a really bad headache or something i have to like cover my face because like oh god the pain is just oh geez, i wish i could pay attention to this movie ow oh oh look the scary part's over okay huh i feel better <laughs> when you've watched enough you can you just kind of know like what each musical like cue means and like what camera angle they use for jump scares and like, oh, they've they've got this kind of music, and they're using this camera angle. It's gonna there. It is. Yeah, music's a big part. It is. Yeah. And you know, We're talking like, about movies po- again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> One of the scariest movie I ever saw was uh, oh shit, what's called Shutter. Shutter. The Thai. Shutter the Thai, Island or just Shutter. The Thai. It's a Thai film. Oh. Mm-hmm. They remade oh. it in English, but it sucked. Like the Thai one was, <laughs> oh, there's a quiver in my voice just thinking about it. Really? <laughs> that film, Shutter. man, is holy shit. Holy shit. I haven't heard of it. Move on. I don't Me even want to explain either. it. Let's just move on. It's too scary to talk yeah, about. Yeah, let's. It's like... Oh god, it looks horrifying. <laughs> <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna try and maybe do something. Like a link dump, which is like whatever we talk about, there'll be like a link in the description, but it might be too much work. I don't know. We'll see if that works out. <laughs> Holy shit, that looks scary, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah fuck that. Fuck, and the people fuck who this! The grudge <laughs> <and> the ring. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Shutter is pretty scary. Oh, my and God. It's got a big twist at the end, which. You are the camera. No, you will want to. Fuck. It will make you want to watch it again, which is the kind of sadomasochist thing. It's like, oh shit, that'd be that'd be interesting to watch it again. Oh, okay. So you can kind of like see how the twist works in like yeah. a wrestling movie. Yeah. Uh... I could tell you the entire twist now if you want. I might watch it someday. You never know. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> you can tell me it's fine. <laughs> Don't tell him. We're gonna watch it right after this. I'll tell him. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at, looking at my channel, and I played another scary game in the last week. You what? <laughs> Al- Albino Lullaby. Oh yeah, how was that? Which is uh, not really scary, but f- kind of weird and creepy. Wasn't it like kind of Tim Burton esque? Yeah. I mean, they describe it as a horror adventure. I wouldn't really say it's horror. It's more kind of like, yeah, it's more like Tim Burton-y. Hmm. So, but creepy. it's really weird. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you just take a lot of drugs and wander <laughs> around a game. That's what it felt like. Interesting. But it's only a demo, and this is, uh, I think they just got it kickstarted, so they just finished it, and now yeah, they're I think promoting it, finished. it. So you, you should see some promotion coming from them soon. Cool. But it's really interesting, quite interesting game. It looked pretty good from what I saw of it. Interesting. Interesting graphics and stuff. Yeah. Art art style. So have you guys been playing John Robbie? Um uh we started playing Magicite. Have you guys heard of that? Yeah, it looks damn amazing, man. Magicite is really sweet. Yeah. It's kind of like Terraria, is it? A bit, yeah. It's kind of like Terraria, but like a roguelike permadeath kind yeah. of thing. Oh. And like... And it's co-op. It is co-op. So Robbie was like, yeah, let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Well, it's, I sent you a message you about play, it. It's, it's better when you play with someone else, because when you when you actually die, the other one can revive you. Exactly, you can, that's what we found. You can go more into the game but when you're alone and you just die it's over you have to start again and you're going to die again and, and again <laughs> yeah it's a really i imagine if game. you if you play alone you'd probably just want to like really stack health <laughs> just yeah, so you can try probably. and survive <laughs> but yeah i think i think like doing it like four four players would be a lot of fun yeah that's for sure do you have it fits Give it a look no, I don't. Okay. I I should buy it, but it it goes back to what I said before. I don't have any money for that, so. Yeah, fair enough. I. It's okay. I've not <clears> heard <throat> of that. What? 
Magister. Never ever. No. Damn. Huh. Why is that? Go watch I our like videos on it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Hey, yeah, it came out over the summer. Mm. It's really awesome. It's yeah, it's really cool. I'll check it out. Maybe we can play it together sometime. Yeah, I think a four-person series on Magicite would be really sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, have you been playing things, Roby? Des uh, Destiny. Yeah, <laughs> Destiny. A Are you like level Destiny. thirty or something? I'm level what? twenty-seven. At oh, the noob. <laughs> I, ha I haven't gotten to do the raid yet otherwise i would totally be level 30 okay totally be level 30 totally man nah, man, man. Um, be level i did 30 notice to do the raid man man oh no, you get you can only get to level 30 by doing the raid because you need to get armor <laughs> oh really the raid. i don't know i've yeah. never played destiny the maximum level you can get to is like 28 or 29 without doing the raid your epic loot drops um one thing i did notice because we were I thought about it before when we were talking about um, the, what was it, Ethan Carter disappearance thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how the graphics are uh, really good. The graphics in the Destiny best. are pretty good, but one thing I, I noticed recently is that in town, sometimes it like rains or whatever, so you get puddles on the ground. Mm -hmm. It does not show your character's reflection in any of the puddles. Anywhere. Really? Immersion yeah, Breaker. It, it shows like the reflections of all the stuff around you but it doesn't show your character holy crap Vision breaker and i was like that's really weird because it doesn't seem like that would be all that hard to do you know yeah like it's like or... the uh the shadow in the forest and your shadow doesn't have a head you're like what the fuck oh yeah <laughs> how is that they fixed not... that but how, they... how is it like when they were making the shadows or whatever they looked at it, they're like, eh, this will do for now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put the yeah, head in later. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. Or maybe it was a kind of message to tell you that you're going to lose your head. Oh. Mm. Maybe it was just like really good yeah. foreshadowing. <laughs> so has that broke your experience in Destiny then? Some, like, uh, I just like, I expected a little more in that sense because it's not like they don't have experience or anything I, and yeah it, i don't think it wouldn't be hard or that it would be hard um but i still like the game a lot i still play it a lot but they had like a, a week-long event where it was like a it, it was like a pvp event where basically all your armor stats and your weapon damage and everything like it wasn't um hmm Oh, what the hell am I trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Don't know. Like, normally in PvP, they um, make it so that even if you have, like, a weapon that's got way more damage than, like, say, like, a level 1 person, oh, they balance you it still... Out. Yeah, balance it. That's it. God. Um, uh, so they introduced one where, like, there wasn't as much balancing, and, like, you could buy, like, cool armor if you, like, ranked up, but the only way to rank up is to get, like, reputation points, and you only get reputation points if you win a game. You don't get any if you lose. So for like a oh whole God. week, I was just like no lifing that and trying to get reputation points, and I finally did it. But like, I've um, ugh. I've come to like a conclusion or a theory that they develop these games based on addiction, because like there's a lot of re <laughs> well, you, you must know what I'm talking about. Like a lot, just, of, a lot of reviews and stuff are kind of like, well, it's an okay game. It's a six out of ten. It's all right. You shoot things, the story's not that good. But then it has like the most hours played and the most people play it. The people play it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Would you agree with that? Would you say it's kind of like, yeah, it's all right, but. <laughs> yeah, I would say that the story is great, but um, my brother was telling me there's like things that you unlock called grimoire cards, which basically as you like go complete different challenges or feats or like you kill a certain number of one type of enemy or stuff like that you unlock these grimoire cards online and you can go to like the destiny website and you can view them and that he was telling me that that gives you a little more insight into the story so maybe people just haven't done that and that's why everyone thinks it's kind of a shit story because it does leave things kind of open-ended mm -hmm. a lot it's like definitely opening it up for a sequel but not subtly whatsoever <laughs> Cool, man. And like a lot of the game is based around like 
replaying old levels over and over and over again, which oh God. some people <laughs> might not be okay with, like running through one level on a different difficulty or whatever is a pretty big thing. Mm. That sounds kind of shitty. That sounds like a cup of tea. I'll still give it a go if it comes to PC. Yep. I think I'd probably buy it again if it came on PC. <laughs> wow. Well, that way we could play together, so yeah. Yeah. Fitzgerald yeah. Robbie bought, like, the Extreme Ultra Super <laughs> Destiny edition of this game. Like, I, I got the PS4 <laughs> bundle. Like, I, I I got a pretty good deal on the bundle. So I, I got a white PS4, which came with a copy of Destiny. And then I also bought the $150 edition of Destiny, which came with, like, a little ghost model and everything. So I had, like, two copies of Destiny, and I sold one. And I just, yeah, I have, like, Destiny everything. <laughs> Destiny everything. <laughs> everything. Like, I'm going to go get a bed frame that's Destiny. Wow. I was, was going to say, like, bed sheets. <laughs> I'm taking it to the next level. Mario bed, bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, other than that, I, I bought the new Super Smash Brothers game for Nintendo 3DS. Oh, yeah. And I haven't really been playing it. I spent like forty-five dollars on it, and I've just been playing Destiny. Have you even <laughs> opened it? I've opened it and I've played it, but oh. I haven't like. Like, there's people at school, and they're just like so into it. They're like super competitive about it, and just like they get into it super hard. But I'm just like, yeah, I, I have it, but I'm gonna gonna go shoot people now. Yeah. Damn. I'm still just not going to get it. So there, Nintendo. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> what do you Suck think of Nintendo. that? Nintendo. But I did pre-order Pokemon, so. Yep. What? Yep. What? There's a new Pokemon? I mean, oh, Pokemon. yeah. Well. Huh? Did Fitz cut out again? <laughs> did I? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Pokemon sucks. Fuck you, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy, get out of here. <laughs> Hijacking this podcast now. Yeah. Let's We're cutting out Jimmy. We're cutting out we... all the parts that have Venusaur Jimmy. Venusaur is the best Pokemon. Really? Venusaur? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I read online just the other day on, in a Kotaku article. A, like, it was an interview with the Pokemon creators, the two Pokemon creators. And they're like, Venusaur like, is the ones. best, right? Well, they were talking about which Pokemon they liked the best out of the starters, and one of them said Bulbasaur, and the other one said Squirtle. (laughs) Wow. The whole Charmander, like, bandwagon was just, like, shut down. (laughs) Venusaur is the best. Yeah, he was saying that, like, Bulbasaur is the best because when he thinks of, like, a typical Pokemon, like part like sort of monsters slash animal type thing he thinks of like bulbasaur because it's like this i don't even know giant what, what you bulbous call it. plant monster thing of <laughs> yeah course you would exactly think of, that. <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah like compared with squirtle and charmander bulbasaur is definitely the odd one out because it's got a freaking plant on its back yeah a cabbage makes cabbage no back <laughs> that's why it's the best mudkip for life man <laughs> that sigh. That sigh. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna pick up Pokemon then, Jimmy? I don't even know this is a Pokemon game. It's They're a remake of Alpha. I could buy anything and be Alien Isolation. What? <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't sound like Pokemon. No. <laughs> it's How many monster, mudkips does that have in it? Mm, How many mm-hmm. gyms are there? It's got a big uh, vagina denta monster. Entire. What? What? <laughs> no, vagina the, what? Vagina dentata, the eating vagina, the vagina with teeth. Oh, the like that movie alien mon- teeth. Alien monster. The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I, I wrote an essay on this. In you what? University. <laughs> what? I wrote an essay on feminism and alien, the movie. Oh. Yeah. The uh, okay. alien represents fear of female sexuality. Oh. Okay, everybody. Uh, t- 
time to choose a topic for an essay. All right, now, come see me after class with your ideas. I'd like to write about alien vagina monsters. Basically, yeah. I wrote about the music in it and everything. It was great. What class was really that? I grade on that essay. I studied film, so I get, a, I get to write essays about this kind of bullshit. Oh, okay, cool. I'm doing a film okay. course right now. Yeah, man. Do you know that uh, Sigourney Weaver's character was actually written for a guy? Well, uh, um, Sigourney Weaver came in for the audition. She was so good that they gave her the lead role. Oh. And they didn't, didn't change any of the dialogue. So there you go. Huh. Um, like, I, I've never seen Alien. <gasps> <laughs> Thanks for watching the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy and I are never going to podcast again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here has seen Alien then? Or I likes? Okay, I've seen good. You can stay Predators. <laughs> That's probably as close as <laughs> yes. you have gotten to Alien. Man, the game. You guys seen anything about the game? Because the game looks cool as fuck. I saw it show up on the store page. Alien Isolation? Yeah. Uh, I Isolated remember raving Marines. about it for the past like six months. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't buy it. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> you were like, "Fuck yeah, that, that's the game I'm gonna get right at launch." Yeah, like and you did. Bucks. Like, I'm gonna buy it twice for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that but game's pretty scary as well, so I'm kind of hesitant. <laughs> you were like, "Oh, it's scary, but you know, it just looks so good. I'm gonna get it anyway. I don't even care." <laughs> yeah, it's like being in an, in an abusive relationship. You're like, oh, he hits me, but I love him. <laughs> That's what that, that game would be for me. See, you should uh, come to the Pokemon side, you know? It's not an abusive relationship. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. I think he beats Pikachu, for sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, we're, we're talking about the games here, not the, so the you, TV show. You lost okay. again, Pikachu, you fuck. <laughs> Be- beats him up and takes him to the Poke Center. He's like, oh, lost oh he lost fight. a really. That's where he got all these bruises from. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. This Pikachu can't complain. All it can say is Pika. Pika doesn't mean <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who are you gonna tell Pikachu? Fuck you. Well, like he could, he could tell Meowth, and then Meowth could speak in English. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah, Meowth oh. understands Pokemon, but he also speaks English. Nah, who the fuck is Meowth? Meowth is a Pokemon in Pokemon who can talk. Just don't catch him then. What? Don't, no, don't... he's he's with Team Rocket. He never even got caught in a Pokeball. He's a wild Pokemon. Why would Why would Team Rocket help Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Are they like enemies? <laughs> Well, they no, want Pikachu. Oh my God. Yeah, they, they want to protect Pikachu because Pikachu is their prize. They don't want Ash kicking the shit out of Pikachu. Well, and if yeah. they like complain to, you know, Pokemon RSPCA, they could uh, they could get Pikachu taken away from Ash, and then they All could right, go. I've got an idea. Get, you get, get that Pikachu. You catch Geodude, right? And then you get Geodude to beat up Pikachu. So there's no evidence. <laughs> well, it would probably be more effective to use like a Machamp. He's got more arms to do it with. Oh, or yeah, more Graveler. Munchamp? Does Jude not have big rock fists? I he does, of... yeah. He's got pretty small biceps, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a bitch. But they're pretty solid. <laughs> and rock solid biceps, but, you know, not a whole lot so of size. There you go. They ask. Why is Pikachu being beaten up? You're like, well, he's just practicing against Geodude. <laughs> just practicing. <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. <laughs> just, you know, hitting up the gym, the the rock gym. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's my P- Pokemon theory. Suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on that. Suck on that. That's probably like if Christopher Nolan directed the Pokemon movie. <laughs> <laughs> probably. The dark, dark side of Pokemon. The dark Pika. Yeah. True. <laughs> the, the fuck. <laughs> I didn't think Pikachu it through. Pikachu begins. <laughs> yeah. The... Uh... Oh this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> what has this podcast turned into? <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that. When we, we're over the hour mark. 
Does anyone want to chime in with anything uh, before we sign off? With anything cool they want to plug or any games they want to talk about quickly? I really like Pokemon. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, except Pokemon. Go watch our Hateful Boyfriend series. That is all. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are playing that shit. Uh, yes, we are. Have you Hateful Boyfriend? I have, yeah. Never. I heard it's really good, actually. <laughs> it's the world's greatest bird dating sim. <laughs> oh. What? The... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Just, just soak it in. You mean they don't have bird dating sims in French Canadia? In French Canadia. Le dating sim de pigeon. Pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> What's word in French? Fuck. It's uh, oiseau. Oiseau? Oiseau. Yeah. Oiseau. Oh. Oiseau. <laughs> but you know, a, a pigeon is a, is a pigeon. So. Is it? Yeah. A uh, pigeon? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of pigeons. <laughs> hey man, je parle le français. Me and Fitz were room. talking in French yesterday. Oh really? Yeah, a bit. Can you speak French to me? Yeah, a bit. Really? I took, I took it for my own O levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. I haven't done question, French in like, years. Uh, I was I, I was really shitty at it, and there's a question like, uh, "How would you prevent a forest fire?" And uh, I wrote "fume," which means smoking. <laughs> was, the question was like, "What would cause a forest fire?" <laughs> Fume. Smoking is caused by a forest fire anyway. Yeah, yeah smoking is caused by a forest fire. <laughs> and now we know why. French is hard, is not man. not fluent in French. They kicked him out. C'est difficile, French. non? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that's my native language, but I still have some problems with it. <laughs> it's amazing at all. Um... All these YouTubers that speak English and they come from like Sweden or Germany, and their English yeah. is so fucking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, English is hard. English, like if yeah. I was if I was from somewhere else and I, you know, didn't know how to speak English, learning English would be freaking hard. Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah, English it's not sucks. really that hard. <coughs> English? Are you saying English you're better than me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and I mean, when when you have like to think that this is the international language then it helps you to get better at it because you know if you want to travel if you want to go somewhere else you need to speak english at least yeah so if you don't have that that kind of state of mind then you're not simply going to learn it as other people will do if they have this kind of state of mind so there is a lot of people in my country, I mean, in my, in my province, that are really, they speak English, yeah. but they, they have a really, but a really big accent. Like, if we take George St. Pierre, by example, <laughs> I mean, he's pretty amazing. His English is really good, but you have that kind of accent that you know where he comes from. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it, English is a pretty easy language to learn. But I think that when when your native language is English and you want to like learn something else, that can be difficult depending of which language you are trying to learn exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think the whole thing about in French everything is conjugated. Everything has like a masculine or feminine. It just kind of blew my yeah. mind. It's kind of like yeah. Fuck. That's pretty confusing. I think it it's unnecessary, personally. That's racist, well, actually. It's languagist, actually. And racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of necessary to have like these kind of rules because it wouldn't sound the same at all. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in English, the table is a, is a table, right? Le but table. Yeah, <laughs> in, in French, it's une table. But if you don't put it in a kind of 
in a in a feminine way. It yeah. just it it ruins everything. I remember in school they used to teach us uh, la chat est sous la table. <laughs> and it means the cat's on the table but it just it sounds like I take a shit on the table or something <laughs> shut I shut sous la table well you know you can refer uh, shut as pussy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the pussy is on the table <laughs> it's there for the taking man fucked up <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh man French <laughs> French. Yeah, it's a cool language, though. I like French. Yeah. So in the next podcast, we are going to learn French. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> For lesson one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so there we go. There's the end. Thanks for listening. Listening. <laughs> not, listening. Not watching. We don't have webcams just yet. Might just, be a possibility I, I, for the future. John and I have webcams, but I don't yeah. know about you guys. Oh, I, uh, well, I I do. I'm a really shitty one, but if you guys want webcams, write it in the comments, and we might entertain it. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, God, we could. That possibly means do I have that. to like oh, not you. just get out of bed and hop into the podcast. Yeah, I look like shit. You have to like <laughs> style your hair and shit. Hey, what's going on with your hair? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, look at me. Don't worry, don't worry about it, guys. I just haven't showered for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 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 So, All right. Yeah. Uh, look forward to see you for the next one. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks, Fitzcred, for joining us. Pleasure. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Goodbye. Au revoir. Bye. bye. <laughs> I said bye in French. Ha, 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 ha.